They are 8,000 strong, the last of their kind. And they say Israel is breaking its promise to bring them home. The Phallus Mora, the Ethiopian Jewish community, have been receiving assurances for years that the Israeli government would assist them with immigrating to Israel. Ethiopian Jews, historically known as Beta Israel, have had their Jewish heritage called into question for decades. But the Israeli government, despite opposition from within, ran daring and costly operations in the 1970s and 80s to bring the vast majority of Ethiopia's Jews to Israel. But the Falish Mora are descendants of those who converted to Christianity under pressure in the 19th and 20th centuries. And even though they've returned to the Israelite faith, the Israeli government doesn't see them as Jews under Israel's right of return, complicating their immigration. Nevertheless, the government announced plans several years ago to bring all of them to Israel. Year after year, though, there is little to no movement on the front, generally over budget issues. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced this week that 1,000 Falish Mura with children already in Israel would be accepted. He noted that it was not a simple decision due to other ramifications, which he did not specify in his statement. One can reasonably presume, though, that he is referring to disagreement within Israel's religious community, whether the Falish Mura should be granted immigration rights. But it's not enough, say those fighting on behalf of the Falish Mora. I don't ever recall a limit to the amount of Jews that were able to make Aliyah from the United States, from Ukraine, from Russia, actually from anywhere in the world. It is so sad that the only Jews today that are limited from coming to Israel are the ones that most of their family is already living here in Israel. The Falish Mora say they simply want promises kept the promise of the Israeli government, and the promise of a higher power that they could someday return to what they say is their ancestral homeland, too. Mike Wagenheim, I-24 News.